this video, you'll learn how to use the Cloud Pod architecture feature to link together multiple Horizon 7 pods to provide a single large brokering and management environment. First, let's look at a traditional Horizon 7 environment. A traditional Horizon 7 environment typically consists of a single pod in a LAN-connected, single data center environment. A single pod can support up to 10,000 sessions. You can deploy multiple pods to scale beyond 10,000 sessions. However, each pod is an independent entity and must be managed separately. For example, each pod has its own separately managed local entitlements. With the Cloud Pod architecture feature, you can join multiple pods in the same or different data centers to form a single brokering and management environment called a pod federation. A pod federation can span multiple data centers across a WAN, MAN, or other non-LAN connection. In Horizon 7 version 7.3.1, a pod federation can support up to 140,000 sessions. Horizon 7 administrators manage the pods in a pod federation as a single entity through the global data layer. The connection server instances in the pod federation use the global data layer to share key data. Shared data includes information about the pod federation topology, policies, and global entitlements. The connection server instances in the Pod Federation communicate by using the View Interpod API, or VIPA for short. Connection server instances use the VIPA communications channel to launch new desktops and applications, find existing desktops and applications, and share health status data. When you initialize the Cloud Pod architecture feature, all of the pods are placed into a single site called Default First Site. A site is a collection of well-connected pods in the same location, typically in a single data center. The pod federation in this example contains one site in New York, which contains two pods. You can change the default first site name. You can also create and configure sites to suit your own requirements. For example, the pod federation in this diagram contains two sites, in New York and in London. The New York site contains two pods. The London site contains one pod. When pods are in multiple geographical locations, as they are in this example, you must configure each pod in a separate site. You can assign sites to users by configuring home sites. A home site associates a user or group with a specific site in the pod federation. When a user has a home site, Horizon 7 looks for desktops and applications in the user's home site instead of in the site that the user is connected to. If the user's home site is unavailable or cannot satisfy the user's request, Horizon 7 looks in other sites in the Pod Federation. Sites can also be a useful part of a disaster recovery solution. For example, if a site contains two pods and one of the pods becomes unavailable, users can receive desktops from the other available pod. In part two of this video series, we'll explain how to entitle users to desktops and applications in the Pod Federation. For more information about the Cloud Pod architecture feature, visit docs.vmware.com.